Dementia is a problem of the elderly, right? Generally, that's true. But there is one form of the disease that can strike people when they are very young, in their 20s or even their teens. It's called frontotemporal dementia, or FTD. And while rare, it devastates lives by rapidly turning young, vital people into those who need constant care. More from Mayo Clinic. And we were seeing our son disappear before our eyes, little bit by little bit. Sue and Bill Bishop are watching a disease called frontotemporal dementia, or FTD, consume their son Brad. The brain disorder with no cure is changing him from a caring young man with a bright future into a person whose behavior is erratic, childlike, and at times inappropriate. Who is it? I don't know, it's Jeff. Who is it? I'll have to see who's calling. Who is it? It's not Brad. It's Brad's body. <laughs> Of course, even that's different. <laughs> Brad's first symptoms were subtle personality changes. He'd forget to return phone calls and emails. He'd act childlike in public, and he grew self-centered, a trait his parents say was completely out of character. And as the disease progressed, symptoms got much worse. Brad became agitated around people, and he couldn't control the urge to eat. So we literally had to put locks around the fridge and freezer. For more than a year, doctors did not know why why this was happening. When we were told that there is something rapidly, progressively attacking your son's brain and we don't know what it is, I lost it. Just going to check your reflexes here. Then the bishops met Mayo Clinic Dr. Brad Beauvais, an FTD specialist. That's when we started on our journey. It was a long, painful journey, but at least now we know what uh, Brad has. But for the families, it's uh, frankly a nightmare. Dr. Beauvais says FTD affects the frontal and temporal lobes of the brain, which control things like judgment, language, and social behaviors. Research suggests that FTD is the result of malfunctioning proteins that cause your brain cells to die prematurely. This causes brain tissue to shrink. Medications help manage some symptoms of FTD, but at this point, nothing can stop it. We want him safe. We want him happy. Is it, yeah, as happy as we can make him, comfortable. And the bishops want others to know about FTD, so families can intervene early and get their loved ones the supportive care they need as they live with this devastating disease. Again, there's no cure for FTD. Some people live with it for many years. Others lose the battle more quickly. Dr. Beauvais says that there is hope for patients with FTD. As researchers learn more about how it affects the brain, they'll be able to tailor medications to hopefully slow the rate of progression, stop progression altogether, or even prevent it. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.